Hello everybody! A long time no see! I missed you guys so much and I'm so happy to be back. Don't ask me where I've been. Life has been crazy and life has been hectic, but I will try moving forward despite the fact that I'm still in the middle of it. Be a little bit more consistent, just upload a little bit shorter videos, put in some more subliminals again, maybe the odd tarot reading here and there, but today I have a success story to share with you. Now, I haven't really shared a whole lot of success stories in the past. I don't really know why. It's almost like they're happening on a daily basis and I tend to like forget. But this one I think is really important for a lot of people who are currently trying to manifest a text message or just contact with their specific person if you're not in contact or if contact is like a little bit like, you know, not so great. And this is also a perfect example of there is always movement in the background and to not give up. So there was some like, a friend of mine. They were manifesting a text message from somebody, basically just trying to establish contact again. And as we all do, the first step was to go into the 3D reality and try to force the outcome. Now, the backstory here is, is that they were not in contact for about a year or so. And the reason why they weren't in contact was because the person that they were trying to manifest basically told them like, you're playing too many mind games. I'm not into this. Don't ever contact me again. I want nothing to do with you anymore. We are absolutely done. So this was like a cut the cord, like we're done by situation. So a year went by and then my friend decided, no, I want to establish contact again. So my friend realized pretty quickly that except for one platform, they were blocked everywhere. Now, I do want to make a disclaimer that it doesn't matter if you are blocked everywhere because you're going to see that the fact that they were blocked literally had no influence on what was really going on. Because again, people can unblock you really quickly and really easily, okay? So they added their specific person on the one platform that they weren't blocked on. The specific person immediately answered was like, what do you want kind of thing, you know, very like standoffish energy. And my friend was apologizing and saying like, Hey, you know, I've been thinking about you. Like I kind of want to talk. And the specific person left them on red, I think for a day. And then said, I told you, I want nothing to do with you. Leave me alone. Like this ship has sailed. We're done. So obviously, as you saw, doing something in the 3D reality had technically negative consequences. Like most people at this point would probably give up and say, okay, you know what? Never mind. But my friend was really determined. And it was also important for me to kind of like show my friend that that is literally how manifestation works and that, you know, no, like circumstances do not matter at all. So I told my friend to start affirming that this person cannot stop thinking about them. They want to talk to them. They added some of their own affirmations, like that person is obsessed with me, blah, 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 which y'all, if y'all are not new here, you know how I feel about obsession, but never mind. So they kind of added their own spin into it a little bit, which you can do. Pick the affirmations that you feel work best for you. And they started affirming. And I think it took a total of two days until they got a message. Now, one of the things that I think was really, really helpful was I also gave them an affirmation where every time their phone rang, they affirmed, oh my God, this is my specific person messaging me. Now, they got messages mostly from other platforms. So don't think that because let's say, for example, you're waiting for, I don't know, like a Facebook message and you're only getting text messages that you can't do that. Like this person mostly got messages from one platform, but was waiting for messages from another platform where I think only this person would have messaged them. But they kept affirming every time their phone rang, oh my God, this is my person. Oh my God, this is my person. So they kept this up. And after two days, that message came. And they said they didn't even need to like look at their phone. They just knew it was them. They just instinctively knew. And they ended up checking the message and the message literally said, come see me. Like, I want to come see you right now. Like, let's hang out right now. So kind of like a bit of an obsessive energy, kind of what they were affirming for. One thing, however, that I thought was so interesting. So the platform that they were using shows you when someone is typing a message to you. And so my friend told me after the fact that during those entire two days that they were affirming for their specific person, randomly throughout the day, it would pop up like person is typing, specific person is typing. They kept typing They and then they deleted it again and then they went silent again and then they started typing again. Like it kept happening. So in this case, my friend was able to see the movement in the background, but that doesn't mean that you have to necessarily always have to see the movement in order for it to happen. Like that movement would have happened even if my friend would not have been able to see on screen exactly what was happening. This is a beautiful example, however, and my friend also told me that 
it really ramped up every time they were like rampaging or doing like 10 minute methods like crazy affirming you know when you just sit down for a couple minutes like take a deep breath and just go really really into your assumption and there's someone who struggles hard with keeping a good mental diet but they were so determined and they wanted this so badly that they were like, this is worth it to me. I don't care what it takes. Like, I'm going to keep a clean mental diet. I'm not going to check what they're up to. I'm not going to like see, like, I'm going to ignore everything around me, including my negative thoughts, including the fact that they messaged me that they want nothing to do with me. I did offer that if it was like too bad, they could also revise that that happened. But in this case, it wasn't really necessary because that text message was just too important to them. So there you go. And this person literally changed their mind overnight. Now, my friend, however, still had a negative story around people in general, not necessarily around this specific person, but when they then replied, they instantly got that reflected back. So they then decided, you know what, I think I'm gonna like go with another specific person because I don't really want to go through that again. But at the end of the day, if you have a set story about people in general, that's going to be reflected back in every person you go to. So do you keep that in mind? And even if, you know, you move on to somebody else, that old story will always haunt you if it's a more general story. So let's say you have history with your specific person, but that's not history you have with anybody else. You still need to be mindful of whether that imprinted in you in a way that it could become history with other people as well. Or whether this is something, for example, you live through in every relationship, right? If it's a pattern, chances are, I mean, we all know this, chances are there's a huge, huge, like, discrepancy between what it is that you want and what it is that you constantly get reflected back. So you have to always, always address that. People, like, if you're not new here, you know that I'm not a big fan of self-concept work which is something that I really have to face within myself because I just don't like doing self-concept work. But it's at the end of the day, affirming for what you want will get you your manifestation. Doing self-concept work is what will keep your manifestation, depending on how important it is, what you're affirming for. But this is a beautiful success story, in my opinion. It shows that circumstances really do not matter. It shows that if you keep a good, clean mental diet, it does not matter what goes on around you. You just need to ignore it stay focused on your goal keep persisting in what it is that you want there is always movement in the background even if you don't see it and if you stay faithful to your manifestation your manifestation will come into you and stay just as faithful to you back so i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope it encouraged you and inspired you to really stick with it and keep going and like i said my friend had a hard time keeping a mental diet. They're the kind of person who will check like social media every two minutes to see what's going on. Is there any movement? Like what's going on? It, like everything, always like checking, checking, checking. But, but for some reason with this situation, they were just so determined to want this text message that it didn't matter to them what exactly was going on around them. And they had no desire to check their 3D reality. And this is really where you need to be. You need to ask yourself, how badly do I want this? And if I can't control myself to keep checking the 3D, even if I have anxiety, which I will make a different video about spiraling and anxiety, how much can I then blame everybody else knowing full well that the buck stops with me? And that everything is just a reflection that is pushed out to me. It's a mirror reflection of what goes on in my mind. And if I can't control myself for five minutes to sit with my anxiety, right, or do some techniques to relieve my anxiety, and the only way I do that is by checking the 3D reality, knowing full well I'm going to push back my progress and I'm going to delay my manifestation, then you need to ask yourself if you really want it that badly or if you should maybe move on to something else. Because at the end of the day, the more you create situations that are negative and that are like reflecting back to you that it's not working, the more you're going to train your brain to feel like manifestation is hard when it's literally not at all. It's the easiest thing in the world because you already do it 24-7 anyway. So anyways, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I always read them. I'm always happy to make videos, uh, suggestions if you want to know anything specific. And I will see you in the next video.